Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to punch. I should auto tune. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 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 Welcome to Cruise Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> Please tell me where we could go. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> welcome to Welcome to Cribs Crib. <laughs> Thank you for tuning back in. Cause you probably had other stuff to do, but then you're still tuning in to us. Or maybe you don't have stuff to do and you're tuning in to us, but otherwise either way you got here. Awesome. Everybody's here today. Again, it's always here. Eternal's here. Eternal. What's good? What's good? Braze is here. What's up, man? Appreciate y'all And Blaze is here because, like I always said, if he wasn't here, we wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And you know what? <clears throat> I don't even want to waste any time other than everybody's good. I know everybody's good. We're all in pretty good spirits tonight, and that's good. But I don't want to waste any time. So let's get with, to the shit. Yeah, let's get to it. The versus battle, DMX versus Snoop Dogg. Ooh, I know a lot shit. of people had their what they thought and what they and that's cool. We respect that. But do you? We're yeah, well. Thought, that's, that's, <laughs> okay, we'll check it out. We're gonna find out. But you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it song for song because Eternal wrote down the songs thankfully, and I missed the second part, so that sucks. But another thing, like. We're going to do it. We're going to do a vote in here on each song. Whatever song for song we pick. And then we're going to do a vote in here. So if the song gets like three versus one, that song won. I don't care if the one doesn't like it. It won percentage-wise. So we'll do that to try to establish a winner according to us. So you think we can persuade each other? Maybe. We'll have some debate along the way. But we'll ultimately have a vote and see which song got what. And and we'll see. We'll rate it at the very end. We'll see who won uh, according to us. Crim's crib, the the crew. That's what we'll do. Yeah, let's do it. And first of all, before we even get started, I thought that the fucking battle was amazing. Yeah. I thought it was like it was like we got a free concert, the best free concert in history. It was fucking bro, you epic. You see them oh, numbers? Shit. Those numbers were insane, Man, bro. That shit was fucking dope as fuck. I was glad that I saw it. I was like, man, I promise you, dude, I was glued to my phone. And I had to do my own interview that night, and I didn't even want to do it because I was so glued to the phone because it was so fucking badass. Hey, bro, it's kind of ironic. The week before, we were talking about who we wanted to see, and one of the names we mentioned was Snoop Dogg against yeah, multiple yeah, yeah. people. And then Did the you next say one Snoop was- Dogg versus 50 Cent? No, I said Snoop versus... Say? First, I said Snoop versus Nas, and I said Snoop versus Game. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to see it East That's what you said. West, so you then... did. We did bring up Snoop. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and go. So tell us. Let's go All song right. for song. All I right. have my phone here, so, I'll, so I, can play, I can play the song whenever we hear it. So if y'all need a reminder real quick, a little few seconds, and, okay. then, and then y'all can hear it and y'all can say for yourselves. In case y'all are like, what song is that? I don't know it. All right, so the first go ahead. 10 rounds, Snoop Dogg went first. Okay. And then DMX played the, the next song. So round one was Deep Cover. And then round one for DMX was intro to his dark and hell is hot. Now we know the songs. So what do you think? What do you first before we do the vote, what do you think? Who do you think won? What song do you like better out of those two? I went deep cover. I'm going with DMX on the first one. Yeah. I like DMX. I think DMX is one that like is better. On those intros. I mean, Deep Cover is the first time the world was introduced to Snoop Dogg. Um, no, you're right. right hey, no, the moment. Okay, okay, but that's, that's the thing. That's when he blew up? Or, that or was like, his first, that yeah. Was like that's when Dre first put him on something. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, okay, look, look. And, and no, impact-wise, you're right. That was a bigger song. But I'm saying, like, like, let's go off, like, let's make it to where you go with the song that you like better. Let's do that. Because you're saying impact. Yeah. And for you, maybe it was too. But I'm saying, like, right, you're going impact instead of. Yeah, I'm going with impact over. Okay, over yeah, yeah, song. that's what I'm saying. Let's go. Uh, let's do our list based on which song what do you like we better? Feel? Okay. Yeah, what song do you like better? Okay. Yeah. Because then it like narrows it down, and we can take out all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna give so, me a whole different listen. Exactly. 
Because every time you tell people, you're like, oh, who you think won? Oh, but, but Snoop is a legend. But so, nah, man, we're talking about song for song here. Like, we're not talking about <laughs> who's better. Obviously, Snoop, legendary, longer, way, still going. He, fuck yeah, he wins. But we're talking about song for song. That's, why it's, that's what it is, song for song. Okay. Well, so we're going to simplify definition. it. That's a good definition of what song Okay, yeah. Up. It'll make our rules easier. Okay. So I say, my personally, I say DMX, I like that song better than Deep Cover. Bray says I said I'm gonna go with Snoop on this one You are? The Snoop one I love DMX Okay oh, Okay one, And then and Eternal Did it change your mind Or yeah, what do you think? That changed my mind I, And honestly I like the Big Pun And Fat Joe version better I love it better too Snoop and No Dragon. yeah I like it better oh, too it, Back like, in the yeah. middle The little Illy yeah. Man that was the and shit Fat Joe wrecked that motherfucker too Man what? Creep for me as I cruise in the beam all, all the kids in the ghetto call me Don Cartagena. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was better. You know what? I'm glad you. that's your reasoning for changing it because it just goes to show that Latin has changed our minds. <laughs> so so we're going DMX 2 and 1 and then he, Blaze will break the tiebreaker. Who do you think? DMX. Okay, so DMX gets 1. Okay. What's the next one, Eternal? All right, round two. Yeah. Snoop did Who Am I, What's My Name? And DMX did What's My Name? Okay, so it's Snoop Dogg, right? Yeah. And then DMX's was... What's my name? Oh, DMX. And, and I, I be, be the, the best, best, you be the rest, you acting like you need a rest. One, One more time. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, vote on that one. Which song right. do you like better? Snoop. I'd say DMX. I like say DMX's Snoop. song better than the Snoop Dogg song. What I'm do you going, think? I'm going DMX on that round. What do you think, Brace? DMX. So DMX wins. Mm-hmm. See, that's how you know we're hip-hop heads, because DMX <laughs> is winning already. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else is probably like, Snoop, 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 because yeah. of the song or whatever. Yeah. But you're going like more like like how, like I think a lot of people were going, if you're going cultural impact, Snoop is always going to win. Oh, yeah. He yeah, had definitely. so many culturally impacting moments. He's a, I mean, he's a, yeah. exactly, he's a brand. But that's, you're going, a, that's what I felt is DMX didn't put his, Best songs out there. Well, I he mean, didn't he, really evolve his brand. He didn't make like he didn't make it to where he he's like uh, he didn't follow the the social media trend. I don't think, dude. Cause yeah. You hear about everyone and everyone's still popping, bro. But you really don't hear about him at all. They even yeah. had a picture of him in IHOP in IHOP uniform, like. Who? Back in the day, you know what I'm talking about, Braves? Yeah, I yeah, I saw that shit too. I was like, what the fuck? Like he was working. So, which is nothing wrong with that, but it's just like a whole different lifestyle than yeah. Yeah. People that you you wouldn't expect them to be living that lifestyle, knowing what he's done. Like Craig Mack working it's at like the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, what? when they were doing like flavoring year and shit. Yeah, and people saw him at the gas station because no he was shit. working. Let's That's go with crazy. the next. Let's go to the next one. All right, round three: Gin and Juice. We all know Gin and Juice versus Get At Me Dog. Get At Me Dog. Yeah. For me, for me, I, I, for me, I say Gin and Juice wins. Yeah. That. Gin and Juice. Gin and Juice. That was uh, unanimous. Gin and Juice is like one of. It's still to this day like you fucking having a party, chilling with your peoples, and you put that whole that whole go. Yeah. Always. And it don't matter who you are, where you're at. Yes. That song will change the mode of any place anywhere. I remember being in middle school and all the kids just singing, singing. I don't know what the hell they were singing. Yeah. <laughs> that I song it is out. dope. Like, Damn. Yeah. So let's go to the next one, turn. All right, round four, fuck with Dre Day and DMX, some X shit. Man, I don't know, dog. Damn. <laughs> Fucking with Dre Day was good, too, though. Yeah, I'd have to go fuck I'm with Dre Day. I'm going with Snoop, Day. dog. Yeah. I'm going with Snoop. That was one of the first big disses in history. I'm going to go DMX. Yeah, you're right. Who are you going with? I'm going with DMX because I'm a big Easy e fan, so I couldn't let Easy e down. <laughs> oh my god So it's half yeah. So what do we do We put a tie We can't put a tie right Yeah Yeah Okay well then I'll make a tie Both bracket Both get one No let's just put one in the tie bracket Alright Eternal let's go Alright round five Two of America's most wanted oh. Snoop Versus DMX Stop being greedy Two, yeah, that two was America's easy. most that wanted was easy Nah two America's most wanted Can't be beat by nobody <laughs> Ever wow. Yeah. So pocket Snoop. Yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. Legendary, bro. That isn't even got, a Brace? fight. Snoop. 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 Yeah. <coughs> Go ahead. All right, round six. This was the toughest round for me. 
Okay. Round six, down for my niggas versus money cash hoes. Money cash hoes. Always. Money cash hoes is one of the unbeatables in my head for some reason. Play it. Look, dude, come on. Yeah. I'm telling you, me, I think money cash hoes is one of the unbeatable tracks in my head. Yeah, I, I have to go money cash hoes. Money cash hoes has always been. I gave you uh, hell for it on the group chat. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got to go money cash hoes. Jay Z or DMX, that's what do you? But what'd you say? The other one? I haven't. I haven't okay, I haven't, what do you think, though? No, yeah. Fuck with fuck the mother niggas. Yeah. Okay, and, and Braze is the tiebreaker here. What do you say? Fuck the mother niggas. Money cash hoes. That's what I said. <laughs> to me, money cash hoes was just that was an anthem for me at that time. Oh, I see the next one. All right, round. And seven. I thought that that fucking uh that fucking piano that was just so dope. Yeah, that beat. <laughs> that insane, beat is bro. sick. Uh, All right, round seven. We got Snoop Dogg. Ain't no fun. Versus DMX. Come back in one piece, Leah. Uh, I'm That's easy, bro. Yeah, Snoop That's wins easy. that all yeah. day. Snoop all day. Snoop. Go ahead. That's Snoop. unanimous. It was cool because they did like a rest in peace, Nate. I rest in peace, that, that, Coco that Coco. is cool. Bro. That is cool. And I'm not saying that the DMX, but I'm not gonna front. Right? Let's just keep it real. We're being honest. I never liked the the yeah, DMX song either. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like when DMX did that love shit. Okay. Well, let's like go to the choice. next. All right, round eight. Bitch, please versus DMX. X gonna give it to you. I think I think Snoop wins that one. Yeah, yeah Snoop definitely. What do you think? Snoop, Snoop. All right, go on. All right, round nine. G's and hustlers versus DMX. Who we be? Yeah. And you know what? Uh, Doggy Style was like probably the first rap. Rap. Uh, you know what? Dre started it because then the NWA did it a lot too, like skits. Oh yeah. yeah. Dre yeah. made it to where yeah. they did that often, yeah. Yeah. and he took it when he they started doing Doggy Style. He took that same format with him. Yeah. Because Doggy Style had a lot of a uh, lot of uh, skits. skits. And that's crazy. How that was the first time the world heard Bow Wow. Yeah. You want to be a Trippy. motherfucking that, hustler. You better yeah. act somebody. Snoop, <laughs> Snoop, Snoop wins that one. Go Sorry. go to the, go to the next one, right, Blaze. Round 10. I mean, uh, through Eternal. Round 10, the Shiznit versus DMX. Get it on the flow. All right. I say Snoop wins that one. Snoop. Yeah, Snoop. Snoop? Yeah. All right, let's go to the next. All right, and now this is when DMX started going first, and then Snoop Dogg started going second. All right. Uh, round 11, we got Fucking With D mm-hmm. versus Snoop Dogg, Lay Low. Yeah. I think that Snoop wins D that one. Yeah. yeah, I got Snoop. What do you think, Bray? Snoop? Snoop, man. Fucking Snoop. All right, let's go to the, <laughs> go to the next you one. You don't want Snoop to win, but he win. Go to, go to the right. next one. Round 12, what these bitches want from a nigga. And then yeah. Snoop Dogg, Beautiful. I never was a fan of Beautiful though. Man, that was a fly oh, track in that song, video. Dude. Hey, the video in Brazil. That shit, was, <laughs> that shit was corny. That's when fucking Snoop had that tight ass shirt Did you for the say first corny? time. Hey, that whole used to go hard in the club, looking. bro. No, he looked corny with the tight ass shirt on in that video. Man, that video, bro. You need to go rewatch no, that I video. Saw the video. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, we're not talking about the. Yeah, the, obviously, there's some good looking shit in there, but. I'm saying that the, the the Snoop that was the first time I saw Snoop like what nigga what is he like doing commercial Snoop yeah I didn't like it yeah. it wasn't so, I, it wasn't so a fan DMX that round huh <laughs> for me round twelve X yeah yes for Go sure. on. round thirteen DMX how's it going down versus Snoop Dogg pump pump he went although pump pump <laughs> is gangster as fuck. I love that Snoop. I mean, I love that DMX song. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, he switched it up on everybody. Yeah, like, I like, love that song. Like that song is one of my why favorites. I like it, bro, because that was like the love song of the album. I say, everybody in the '90s had to have that love song. I yeah. say DMX. X is taking that one. I'm going Snoop. Blaze. X. Ooh, I didn't see. I didn't see that coming from from Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, dude. Let's go to the next one. Eternal. Was right. Round fourteen. Dmx. <laughs> it's all good versus Snoop Dogg. Bitches ain't shit but hoes oh, and come tricks. Come on, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Bitches, Bitches ain't shit I'm was too much of my hands on the jail. <laughs> Snoop wins to me. Yeah, yeah Snoop, Snoop took that one. Blaze. Yeah. Snoop. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, round 15. This is a tough round, bro. Okay. DMX slipping versus Snoop Dogg. Murder was the case. Easy. (laughs) No, Slipping was my favorite, one of my favorite rap songs of all time. Yeah, no. Slipping is one of my favorite rap songs of all time. Like, when he said that could have been yo, (laughs) I hit me in the head. No, I'm telling you, (laughs) Slipping is like. Top 10 rap songs. Hey, bro, but Murder Was a Case wasn't no punk either, though. No, oh, that wasn't good, Friends dude. Hey, no. Friends this is the hardest keys. one of all of them. 
Of all of them, this is the hardest oh, we one. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? Damn. Okay, uh, man. We have to vote. We yeah, have no I, choice. I, I got slipping, bro. I got uh, slipping. Uh, yeah. Round 15 X slipping. Yeah. Oh, with a case. I, they, shit. No, hey. No disrespect to the Snoop song. This is a hard one, but slipping yeah. was my anthem. Like, Hell yeah. slipping was like, I think slipping was one of. Okay, check it out. I grew up loving Tupac music because I could feel it. Yeah. X yep. brought me back to that feeling with that yeah, song. Yeah. Like he was the first one. To that, shit. Yes. Yeah. X bro. was the first. It, it was a long time since I felt that way about a song, and X was the one that brought me back to it again. Yeah. It was Tupac forever, but then he did it, and, and it, it was just the same feeling. I totally and I was agree. like, "That's a beautiful. That he's a good songwriter." Yeah. Right there, I was like, "X is the shit." Fuck so yeah, I'm dude. yeah. So I don't feel so bad about it. Although murder was the case is legendary. Classic, bro. Yes. But see, that's what I mean, though, dude. Like, uh, I feel like Snoop's done a lot, but I feel like DMX's music means more to me. Uh, personal. Yeah. It's yeah. Personal. Yeah. It's Let's more. Go. I can relate to it more. Hit home. Me. Let's keep yeah. going, Eternal. All right, round sixteen. Mm-hmm. Niggas done started something. DMX versus Snoop Dogg, Doggy Dog World. Uh, Snoop for me For yeah, me I'm Snoop. Have to go Snoop Snoop And Brace, Blaze Snoop Yeah Okay Let's go Eternal Alright round 17 LL Cool J 4321 And East Side is I love it I'm going with the X yeah. on this one X You know what dude They need to do uh, Now that I heard that They need to do a, a versus But Method Man versus somebody Oh yeah. Method Man Method Man going Versus, oh. versus <laughs> Method Man versus Red Man Ooh. There you go There you go Bro, yeah. that is good. Uh, <laughs> Alright, round 18. I got a lot of flat for this one on social media, but what? Uh DMX, Money Power and Respect, and then Snoop Dogg through P I M P. These were both features. Money Power and Respect. Wait, let's hear them. For me, uh, for me, I think X wins. For me. Yeah. I think that, that the, the Money Power and Respect dude. Yeah, bro. Money Power Respect X. Uh, it's the key to life. I'm gonna go Snoop on that one. <laughs> That's just like, hey, dude, like, just little Kim uh, being on the hook uh, uh, destroyed that. Because I thought when she did the Quiet Storm with Mob Deep, she killed that yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, that Quiet Storm remix. That's one of my yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, so I'm insane. going with I'm going with X. I, I picked Snoop. Brace? Uh, X. X. All right. Let's see. What else you got, Return? Next. All right, round 19. This is probably the toughest round out of all of them. All right. Rough Riders Anthem versus Nothing But a G Thing. Damn. This one's hard. Yeah. Bro, nothing but the G it. thing. That's my all time favorite song, bro. I get it, all-time bro. All time favorite fucking hip hop song. I'm going with the anthem. Yeah, same. I have yeah. to. Bro. I have to. Wow. No, have this to. is not easy. <laughs> this is not easy for me to say this. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to I choose. Yeah. No this is like. Kawasaki, that's like choosing no your mom <laughs> and your wife. Which one? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's not that. No. I'll choose my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Uh, this is like choosing between two, like, <laughs> like <easy>. it's like. <laughs> <laughs> this like, is no, like no. nothing but you take your ball. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Look, I don't want to say what it's between, but I'm saying this is a very difficult decision for yeah. me. Yeah. But, but, and I hope everybody that ever listens to this right now understands that I love Snoop Dogg. These have not been easy decisions for me. Yeah. But I have to say, Rough Riders Anthem is a song that I feel cannot be beaten. Uh, I am going with DMX. I'm going with what 50 Cent said. All the hardest niggas come from Yonkers. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) And Eternal? That's easy Snoop, bro. And Blaze? Yeah, X. All right. That was a hard one, but... We yeah. went. And I ain't gonna get no easier. Round twenty. Yeah. DMX party up. Snoop Dogg drop it like it's high. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get our modes because they, okay, don't think about it. Close your eyes and just wait. And imagine you're in the club. Drop it like it's hot. Bro, I feel like I've had more hoes with drop it like it's hot. I'm going DMX. <laughs> oh. Ooh. This yeah. is a hard one, one coming. I see that no, one coming. This is the hard one. one. This is the hardest one nah, I feel. Hell no. I'm I going with Snoop. Song. You're going with DMX. Who you going with? X. Same. Dang. 
All right, then in the last round, they're doing a bonus round, round 21. Yeah. DMX, Where the Hood At versus mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, the next episode. Oh, shit. Wait. Get the fuck out of here. I don't even, I, I'm not, I don't even want to disrespect Nate Dog. Nate this Dog. song by asking y'all what y'all pick. Yeah. <laughs> Nate Dog, man. Nate Dog. Okay, and that was all of Eternal. Yeah. That, okay, well, I'm going to tally it up. I'm going to tally it up here. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Burn, burn, burn. 30 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You really counting too. SpongeBob like theme one, song two, in the background. Three, Bro, <laughs> Eternal. What's up? Oh my Get God! Out Y'all ready? Oh, you got, you yeah. Are you ready? You Get out of here. Dog, it is a tie. What? what the fuck? Ten and ten, and they tied one. Ooh. Oh. We tied it. Dang. Dang. Bro. What Dang. The fuck? <laughs> But that was an epic battle. It deserves to go out like that. Oh, man. You know what? I am glad it tied. Yeah. But I knew that it was going to be a close. And that, dude. This wasn't scripted or nothing. Nothing. We just let the cars fall. We just, yes. We just said we're going to do our own vote. My personal (laughs) one, I I had Snoop 12 and DMX 9 on my personal one. Man. And I could have been stubborn and went X all the way. And I gave Snoop the love he deserved. But I changed changed on this one on some of them because y'all said pick your favorite song. And on that list, I picked uh, ones I felt were more cultural. Man. (laughs) I can't believe that it was tied. That's dope, though. I know. I I am so glad that the cards fell this way. That's crazy, I feel that that's the just do of this (laughs) battle. Yeah, Yeah, that was dope. They're both dope as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, So, So who's going to top this now? Who could top this battle? Damn, dog. Well, I was telling y'all that T.I., and the 50 Cent shit ain't happening. And then I told Blaze, I don't even think 50 Cent can beat Rick Ross. Yeah. That's how we got to Rick Ross. And then Eternal said, well, what about if Rick Ross and T.I. went to at it? Yeah, that would be And insane, then I was bro. like, oh, shit. Damn, that is Hey, good. but who, who against yeah. Lil Wayne? Damn. Oh, dude. Dude, oh, Lil oh, Wayne really? went. Lil Wayne and, like. Lil Wayne versus Drake. Yeah, that's nah. it. Little Wayne, dude. That's it. Wayne. it would Little have Wayne. to be that. Yeah, Wayne. Little Wayne versus Drake. You think Little Wayne would take Drake? Yep. Because yeah. I like Little Wayne since he was a hot boy. Yeah. Nah, man. <laughs> Little Wayne, because dude, Little Wayne had a like. I don't know what year it was, but it was one year where dude he was Drake on is very very popular, song. but it's Drake a bunch of girly like pussy the shit. Record for number one. It's hits. not it's the one. Uh, Fuck y'all niggas. That was literally yeah, that you can see yeah, that yeah, song. Little, little Wayne yeah. Nigga, he asked the fucking blunt into a Grammy award. That's the realest shit I've ever seen in my yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Little Wayne is unbeatable. <laughs> yeah, Nobody yeah. has ever asked a blunt into a Grammy award. Watch that video when you get home. He's got more years. You'll see it eternal if you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I ain't seen it. On the fuck them niggas, he's like rapping with smoking a blunt. Man, fuck y'all niggas. And he's like in his living room or some shit. And he grabs the Grammy Award and he ashes the sweet in there. I was like, nigga, what? That's the best thing ever. It was like, to me, Wayne is greatest forever for this. I'm saying Wayne is better so Wayne beating Jay-Z? than Drake. Yeah. Is Wayne oh. beating Jay-Z? That's hard. Oh. That's hard. Oh. If they could put that yeah, battle that together, would that would crazy, be the best dude. thing ever. Uh, Nigga, that would destroy the internet. There you go. If that Jay-Z would. and Little Wayne battled. Yeah. Eternal, you're on to something. I'm going to make some calls this week. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think Eminem and Jay-Z would be bigger. There you go. Man, we Eminem talked about this Eminem thing, though. Eminem is really super sick. Yes, we know that. But his hits are sucky. His hits. Nah, his hits ain't sucky. Not all of Come them. Come on, bro. Not all of them. His hit hits. Let's say that. His hit hits. His earlier ones or mid ones, like, yeah, but like his, his later ones. Eminem's B sides were better than his hits. So what about Jay Z? Like, what monster hits is he at? But Jay Z's, you're right. Jay Z's kind of the same. His B sides were better than his hits. His albums are well, just incredible. His hits were not, pop wise, their hits are big. But I'm talking about like niggas like us. Their B sides are better yeah. to us, I think. Yeah, to like the hip hop heads. Because come on, Eminem, dude, come on. I would Eminem is one of the best ever, ever, ever. But again, but I don't like if if he was going hit for hit. Come on, hi, my name is against some. Come on, bro. Like his hits. I don't think you can play songs like that though. But exactly. But those are his hits though. If we go down his hits, those are his hits. Like Blaze was saying that song with Rihanna. 
I think, yeah, dude. Like, I think his later shit is more yeah, contender he's got, for... Yeah. yeah. He got more... He yeah. got more mature and... Started. Yeah, exactly. He's already, like, evolved as an Eminem artist. Eminem, as a rapper, is hard to beat as a rapper. If we go for hits, for hits... But, but Eternal's probably right. If Eminem actually did do one of these battles, I bet he would have played... Slim Shady and all that nah, crap. He's, not gonna play. he's gonna play some fucking like B sides that he were just yo. Want to do them song? Probably the record label nah. made him. And you know what? Eminem yeah. is such a big artist he that even his B side songs are big. Yeah. Like I man, I know a like bunch of his song, shit. His probably songs that yeah. that people don't think everybody knows them. Oh word yeah. When he does them at the, if you watch his live shit, he'll do a song off a of B side and the whole crowd knows that hoe. I mean, Eminem is huge. That went fucking diamond. Eminem is huge, huge. Like mm-hmm. Eminem is like Elvis, huge nigga. Yeah. He's big. Yeah. yeah. Eminem can sell out tours forever. Oh, you didn't yeah. even think about the Eight Mile songs, man. Mm-hmm. Eminem is. You're right. Eminem yeah. would be a bad, hard battle yeah, for he's anyone. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. But I think Jay Z wins it. Mm-hmm. For me. Yeah. For me. I don't know. But for them to top this one, they're gonna have to go hard to yeah. find people. Yeah. That's that's the point. Yeah. That's the point You know what I'm saying That's so, T.I. and Rick Ross That'd be dope It ain't gonna beat this one But that would be That would be a good battle That would be a good just one Just song for song But you know what The fact that T.I. went after 50 That was dope That would've been If they could've made that happen I would've loved to see that But I think 50's just too petty Of a well, nigga That he don't he know how to do this snoop. Nah 50 would've got di- uh, Fucking Destroyed yeah. yeah Destroyed 50 ain't even better than Than X Real talk Yeah 50 don't have more he hits than X. He, he admitted, he said, the hardest niggas come from Yonkers. <laughs> there album. you go. So I don't even, if you couldn't even beat X, there ain't no way you wouldn't have not stood a chance with Snoop. He would have ate you up. So, hey, it'll be, it'll be dope to see who, who come, who comes next. But regardless, this battle itself was amazing. It was like a concert for free. I loved every minute of it. I was like a fucking... Yeah, I was like a kid in high school all over again, nigga. Or whatever grade I was in that motherfucker at that time. I don't know. But I thought it was fucking sick. I loved it. Goddamn. The next one, if it's even better than this, it's going to blow my fucking... I don't know if I can handle this. But definitely people going to be watching now. Yes. I think this was a lot of people's first time watching Versus. Yeah, yeah, like you said, mine. I'm I'm mine too. But I'm glad how they're doing it now, where they got both artists in there. the same place going right. against each other. But do you yeah. think that they turn this into a whole other thing and they get away from IG and they have like a show show? Because yeah, it's that big. I, I yeah, can see them doing happen. that. I can see that happening. Yeah. But I mean, the IG like, numbers uh, the, were higher than every other number. But just imagine they're on some network or yeah. they start their own YouTube page. Yeah. It's kind of like a boxing or match. something. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah, dude. If they do it right. They can make so much money off this because yeah, there's so many be artists that they haven't the even time. done yet. Yeah, yeah. And if you get some hip hop historians behind the scenes to like oh. say who they should get because mm. they kind of understand it more, you're gonna get some badass battles like this yep. one. Yep. So I think that this thing gets bigger and bigger, and it's gonna be fucking nuts. I don't even think people thought this battle was gonna be as good as it was. Oh, I like, did. People knew it was gonna be a good battle. Yeah. But no, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, it's gonna be great. But then when I actually started seeing it, yeah, and the it was nostalgia just, yeah. was great. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Yeah. So man, whoever they pick, I don't know, but it's gonna be tired hard to top this. That's yeah. it. All right, dude. So check this out. Kanye West holds a rally in. Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. I guess oh, this is where he's yeah. at. And uh, did anybody watch any of the clips from this like thing he did? Yeah, this rally? No, but I heard about it. Okay, about you saw Bla- Blaze? Brace? Yeah, I watched. Okay, I watched what did what did you it. what did you think about the stuff he was saying or how he was acting about in this? Man, that's a tough question. Um, I like, only have a, so much of dumb fuck I can take before I'm done. Like you can take the political side, you can take the mental illness side, or you can take the damn what happened to Kanye side. Like it's difficult to choose. The damn what happened to Kanye side is the side that goes with me the most. Yeah. Like, so okay, so you saw it then, so you know what's up. Eternal, you saw pieces or saw some of it, right? I was the same way. I mean, I read more about it than I saw it. I okay, I saw some. I saw pieces, and I do have to say, he looked very, very unstable. Yeah, you're right. Something wrong with that yeah, nigga, you hear bro. Dave Chappelle oh, went to go visit him. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, uh, but he's tripping, bro. Like he's shit. <clears throat> he's fucking tripping, bro. Like I don't know what he's doing or what's wrong with him, but that nigga's tripping. So, <clears throat> so from him tripping like that, later comes. Him, like, stuff coming out about him wanting to... Been trying to get divorced for two years now. 
Like he's saying Like he's been trying To get divorced Like he put out All these random tweets And people are like Yo what the fuck's up With that nigga And one of the tweets was I've been trying to get divorced From Kim Kardashian For two years now Then the nigga put out A tweet talking about The fucking mom Tried to get him arrested Yeah Then the nigga's talking about yeah, they That's re- what I read about Okay. That's exactly what I Why is he yeah. dog? Is he oh, he's been he's What does been, that have to do with his politics though? No, it ain't even about politics. That boy got MK Ultra, man. They they what? mind control that. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> MK Bro, Ultra. This is what happens every Please. time. Please. <laughs> that is exactly what he would look like though, dude. The way Okay, he's what? Acting, Eternal go cuz what Braze is going to get us into, I'm not ready yeah, for this. Every but time Eternal. he got an album coming out, it's all this bullshit, bro. It's true. And yeah, he about right. to drop an album. Every time a fucking album about to come out, is all Okay, this but why bullshit. would he say all this stuff about his wife and her family with a rollout? Like that's too far. You right. You don't think that this is too far for a rollout of an album? Bro, oh, he's a Trying to be president of the United States. Okay, well that's enough. He didn't have to go there with the rest of this stuff he's doing. Yeah, he can, he canceled out the the pre- president. He he mind. even tried to make it sound like he said that he like he said something along the lines of ever since Kim Kardashian met up with Meek Mills to do like some shit they were doing like trying to fight like uh, prison reform or whatever they were doing that every that ever since then he's felt like like he kind of made it sound like he thought she fucked around on him, dog. Yeah. With Meek Mill Like Okay and I'm not saying Meek Mill's not some fly nigga Whatever But come on bro Meek I Mill mean, He was fucking like, Nicki Minaj So I mean He got a thing for them big asses Get the fuck out of here <laughs> You think Kim Kardashian's fucking Meek Mills Nah I don't think so She's not He's not his Exactly He's not her caliber You know what I'm saying but you, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this I'm gonna tell you this he's Kanye is 43 years old but He's what? got one three billion, one point three billion net worth Now wait a minute Kim K only has 900 million. Bro, one thing you need to understand. He got more paper than him. Okay, bro. I get it. But you one thing you need to understand is that Kim Kardashian can fuck anybody. Yeah, you're right. It don't matter who it is. Oh, well, I heard Kanye She is one of that. the finest bitches on the planet. I heard Kanye she can said have that anyone. He went broke. Huh? I heard that too. Again? Man. Not again. In the past. Well, I remember that. Came, that. So yeah, I remember that when so he was asking for loans and shit. Uh, right now, as of right now, because of the worth fucking shoes. Oh man, the Yeezys took off like crazy, yeah. bro. Expensive yeah. too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm saying, I'm saying that that regardless, 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 uh, he's saying shit about the family. Okay. Also, too, he called out the mom, saying that they tried to get him arrested, saying like all this shit, bro, calling them racist. He called the mom racist the mom when he was doing the. He called her Chris John Noon or some shit. <laughs> what? And then the fucking and then the fucking okay. Remember how Black China was fucking out around with Rob? Yeah. Whenever Kanye said that, she came out with some shit talking about he ain't lying about them being racist. The mom used to always say that, like say under like undertones of like that she's racist. I mean that she's a ghetto calling Black China ghetto. <laughs> Oh, okay. So like she's like the bitch, them bitches is racist. They but were trying to, before yeah. in the pres- when he was doing the presidential press, he was saying how much he loved her and called her mom. He's like, I call my mother in law mom, and he was saying all this other shit. Man, I don't know. And that bro. was just like a week ago, man, a couple weeks ago. Yo, he was just fucking like yo. He was just on TV with Joe Osteen the other day, bro. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like on some stupid. How does shit. Joe Osteen feel about all? Yeah, this? he's probably like, God, he probably he's probably like, fuck, brand, Victoria, like, we should have never put him on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's probably like on some shit. It, no, I'm straight up, him going that fucking whole gospel shit, and like, okay, cool, we get it. That's the route you're trying to go now. And all of a sudden, this, man, I don't know, so bro. How you feel about Elon Musk backing Kanye now? I think he lost that. I think <laughs> no. he lost that. I think Elon Musk. I think Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk a pity though. I think he's. Like, I think Elon Musk is acting like he don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> he's like, yo, man, we man, nah, we're making yeah. cars over here, brother. Hey, regardless, <laughs> you know, regardless, there's a whole lot of money in that corner over there. No, but what do you think? Yeah. Hey, Bla- Braze, remember I told you? I told you. Uh, I, do you think that Kanye West is starting all this shit so that his wife divorces him on purpose? That's a real good point right there. What if he wants out that bad that he's willing to go act Sabotage a fucking everything. fool to get kicked the fuck out? So yeah. why do you think she's holding him down like that? Man, she's got that is 1. she? $1.3 billion. Yeah. No, I'm saying, is she doing it because it's uh, the PC way to do it? Because well, they, they got, what, four kids? 
Three that one kids. Point three, that 1.3 3 billion ain't gonna last. <laughs> hey, you know what? Don't say that because I've always said this. I'll say it a million times. Michael Jordan got divorced from his wife and gave her half of everything he had. At that time, he was one of the richest athletes in the whole wide world. Guess what? He has by as because he has Jordans. He has trip after he le- she left with half of it when they got divorced. He still made quadruple that amount still in his career still. So you know what? Though. Rich niggas that are smart are always gonna get back to it. I'm glad. Jordan Jordan did it. I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that because Kanye and Kanye is, can do it too. Kanye is also from Chi Town, Chicago, my hometown, and Jordan's from Chicago, so yeah, they got something in common. Uh, if anybody could get rich again because they're smart as fuck, is Kanye. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't matter what happens. I don't think Kanye West cares about money wise of anything. Nah, he don't ever. Nah, he's not that type of person. So I don't know. I'm just saying. I think, and then plus he he came out with that fucking when he was doing that little Charleston thing, he fucking said uh, this nigga was saying that Harriet Tubman do didn't it. free Don't the slaves. <laughs> yeah, he said that the Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves. Don't she go down fucking. That rabbit hole. Oh no, I'm I'm just saying like he's okay. What why I'm saying that is he said that she didn't free slaves that she just gave them to other white owners. Whatever he said, what I'm trying to say is he he said he has said a lot so much to the point where he's losing black people. Period. Yeah, you're oh, right. Bro. Did and, you re, uh, did you read what Kim Kardashian posted? What did she post? I mean, I can't pull, I, it, pull uh, it up the second, but I could try. Okay, well check this out. I'm saying that Kanye West has I like okay I get it. But he's saying a lot, bro. Either he's really trying to get his wife to leave him or, like, he's really fucking fucked up, bro. Did you see his conversation Something wrong with, him. with Donald Trump? A new one? No, the old one. Oh, yeah, he was tripping then, too. Yeah. But, no, he's tripping now. <laughs> he was tripping then, too. Like, Man, I don't know. tripping, bro. What do you think, Blaze? What do you think? Like, he's just fucking nuts? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What do you think, bro? I think he's he's he's, just he's going through some like shit, and he's he doesn't want to get help. He's going through some heavy shit. He probably ain't taking his meds. They're having a hard time controlling him. I mean, there's a lot of money. You think involved. ultimately the wife leaves him? I mean, yeah. If she gets mad enough, she'll leave him. I think she I mean, leaves. Like, him. It's yeah, crazy shit it. that happens, dude. Because like I've like I've even been reading that like people are saying Britney Spears is like in some shit like that where her what? parents control her life. Because of certain right now, of her trying to commit suicide. Nigga, she's like, like 38. Yeah. Why the fuck are they in her business? That's crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. That's I say nuts. Kanye, I say Kim Kardashian is leaving Kanye West. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's going to get out. She's going to divorce him. I'll say. Yeah. I even read a headline that said, like, speculations that she's talking to lawyers, blah, blah, blah. You know how they always put yeah. news? I think it's true. Yeah. When she pops up with Meek Mill. Man, hey, that won't that won't be cool right there. I man. like Meek Mills though, <laughs> but Meek Mills got a chick. He just had a baby not too long ago. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Meek Mills probably not thinking he, about he that. Ain't going that route. Nah, but I but I'll say I think Kim Kardashian and Kanye West split up, and I don't know what happens to Kanye, bro. Like I'm really like I don't know where he goes next, but I do think that he his relationship will probably end. Yeah, very publicly. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know what will happen with him. I don't know what direction he goes next. I think he needs to fucking stop acting a goddamn fool and go click up with Jay Z again. That's what I think. Pretty much. Uh, if you can't, but I don't think Jay Z wants to be nowhere near this motherfucker nah, right now. No, nope. Jay Z don't get around people that make him look like a dumb fuck yeah. at I think all. He gonna jump on the August Alcina remix for Entangled. Man. Damn. Oh fuck no. <laughs> oh God, just shoot yourself, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Dude, that shit's so whack. Bro. Okay, no, yes, I already told you. He turned on fucking. I just seen him doing the fucking entanglement joint. He's a pussy as hell for snitching Yo. on the fucking pussy he just got. Yeah. You pussy nigga. Yes, I say it. I, say, I think he mad because she stopped fucking. And him. number two, <laughs> then you make a fucking song about it. That is really pussy. If if August Alcina gets his ass slapped, the fuck get slapped the fuck. Out was Will Smith when they run into each other. He deserved every minute of that. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I'm gonna keep it real, nigga. You're gonna get your ass slapped, nigga. And he's, it, he's he's making Ace Town look bad right now, bro. Nah, bro. He went against the G code. <laughs> no, nah, man. He went and snitched on some. You never snitch on pussy. Man, if a girl fucks you that. behind her nigga's back, <laughs> you don't snitch. You never snitch. You never snitch. The fact that she's cool, that cool, to be a horrible person with you, knowing that you're a horrible person, (laughs) 
You're a horrible person already. And the yeah. fact that she keeps that, holds that down, because yeah. she's just as horrible, there's a respect in that. And you can't fucking cross that. Yeah. So anybody that has ever dry snitched on pussy that they have gotten, you are a straight up. A bitch. A bitch, nigga. Anything. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Fuck face. I don't know. You're trash for doing that. Anybody that does it. I'm just keeping it real. Yep. You should never do that. That's like telling a girl a bunch of shit bad about a nigga so you can fuck her. That is the trashiest shit a nigga could do. Then my opinion. A song for yeah. attention and money. Man, dude, no. And I guess I've seen that has crossed the line. He should have never crossed. He is a biatch in my eyes. Yeah. Just keeping it real. What do you think, Brace? He's out of there, bro. He fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> Forget about it. Hey, get like, him out. Like, like my Italian boy said. Cosa Nostra, hey, you keep the wife and the kids out of the business. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he went too far. That's why I say he deserves to get slapped for this yeah. shit. Yeah, Just nah, let's leave it yeah, there. Bro, that's Molly crazy. Whopped, that's well, what Molly whopped that fool. Yes. Somebody, <laughs> <laughs> somebody need to slap the shit out this little young nigga, man. Yeah, and yeah. I think Will Smith's going to be the one to do it. Yeah. I, like, I like Will Smith. I, I want to watch, Smith. dude. Fuck yeah. I want to see that shit. Oh, happen. yeah. No, I would love to see this little nigga <laughs> get slapped. The ghost of pop. With that shit he did, he deserves to get slapped the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck that nigga. He lost all my respect. When when I first heard him say that on that little interview, I was like, what are you doing? I, right away, you are fucking putting this chick on blast. Yeah. What the fuck, idiot? I was like, first thing I said was, you're never fucking her again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. The chances of you getting hitting her up one fucking lonely Saturday night, like, yo, Jada, what you doing? And she's like, oh, I was just here by myself. I haven't been doing shit. And then you just start spinning, oh, man, shit, I mean, I ain't talked to you so long. I've been missing you. And then she's just like, you, you want to chill or what? Like, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the chances of that ever happening again, done. No one's, no one's mentioning the fact that he was friends with Will Smith's son. Like, how does that relationship Awkward. Matter? Fuck, fuck that. Fuck. The mm -hmm. fact, okay, that's not as important as he just blew yeah, future right. pussy with Jada Pinkett. But damn, that is creepy nah, though. That is fucked that's up. That's, that's, that's his homie's creepy. mom. Think about how dope it is for Jada Pinkett to fucking like for you to let you smash. That's dope. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's up there. That's crazy. That's not like just some regular bitch. That's Jada Pinkett. How was you, Brad? That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah, fucked up. I agree, shit. dude. That's, that's, shit is fucked. that's his homie's mom. That is fucked up, but not, but like, but okay. I guess I've seen this fucked up all around. Let's yeah. leave, let's leave that's it. the real motherfucker that's crazy. Y'all asking yeah. about y'all asking about Kanye. You need to be questioning August. That motherfucker's tripping. Man. He's a dick yeah. face. <laughs> fuck him. He's the dick face of the week. <laughs> and fuck his entanglement song. Jada Pink is the one that made up that word, cock face. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. She fuck sue, August Alcina. She's going to sue him for using the word. <laughs> so check this yeah. out. I was reading up on on uh, the chick, Ellen DeGeneres, right? You know how she has the Ellen DeGeneres show? Yeah. Okay, so I was reading up and they were saying that like all these fucking workers from her show, whether they were people in the back that do whatever, catering, whatever, fucking all this stuff that work on the show. The set, yeah. Yeah, the people on the set, they all coming forward saying that this bitch that is fucked up working for her. She's a bitch. She's fucked up. She's this. All this crazy shit, bro. And just saying that she's racist. Fucked up stuff. And it's like, but it's a lot. Like, over 62 people. Damn. So why in the fuck is it 62 people? If it's one thing, if it's one motherfucker hating that you fired, oh, she was a fucking racist. He's just yeah. being a bitch nigga. 62 yeah. bitch niggas? That sounds like her whole staff. That's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. That's her whole Man, staff. she seems cool, too. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> why is she like this? <laughs> hey. Bro, I tripped when I was like, Ellen? Like you, like no. Dory, 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 <laughs> nigga, you can't be, you can't be in the fucking movie with the fish, Finding Nemo, and be a bitch, bro. This shit ain't even right, dude. <laughs> if you're ever in a cartoon show like that and you act like a bitch in real life, that is fucked up, dude. You're ruining so many childhood dreams. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I agree. Nah, so can dog. Can somebody be that good of an actor? Like in the camera, they seem like such a nice person. <laughs> and then behind the scenes, they just. Dude, the fact, if she's. Doc, I'm going to say that there's too many people saying that that it ain't, that can't not be true. Yeah. I'm going to say that. 
But what I am gonna say too is is that I can't believe her of all people. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Do you think it fucking hurts her career? Fuck yeah. You think so? Yes. Or do you think nobody gives a fuck and it keeps going? I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but you this week you'll hear that uh you're ge- well, say her name again. Ellen DeGeneres. Name? Ellen Ge- DeGeneres. Her. Dory. Dory from fucking <laughs> Find Nemo. <laughs> My son loves the tune. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, no, your son up. loves this fucking yeah, bitch, dude. Yeah. It goes deep. It goes deep, bro. Well, anyway, so you took this personal right now. Yeah. So in about seven days, you gonna hear this Saint Ellen. What's her fucking last name? DeGeneres. She's on fucking Epstein's flight list, bro. Just watch. <laughs> you, heard, you heard it here first. <laughs> She's one of the chosen few on Epstein's flight list to his island. What the hey, fuck? and we all know what the island means. I don't no know, way. bro. I mean, she's helped. She's helped a lot of people. Oh yeah, she like, has. Who? Like all these YouTubers <laughs> and stuff. She put. I mean, she put a lot of people on with her show. Yeah. <laughs> She helped, a lot of, she helped a lot of stay-at-home moms make it through the day. So you think 62 people that got something to say and she's helped all these other people? Yeah, like, but she did it all for views. For people to be on there and be like, oh, Ellen, she's so nice. And, and really, she's views. a fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right? Blaze, does this sound like she did on purpose? It's shitty. Yes. Hey, bro, I was watching this video about all the sex scenes in Disney movies. What? What does oh, it mean? Yeah, what what, what yeah. kind of some crazy? Okay, but you what are some? No, know? tell me one. Like uh, on Lion King, when yeah. Simba goes down on the fucking ground and all the fucking leaves fly out, yeah. it spells out sex if you put it in slow motion. It does? Yeah, and there's like a scene where Jessica Ra- Rabbit, where she crosses her legs and you can see uh, everything. You can see Jessica you, Rabbit's you pussy? You can see her Roger Rabbit. <laughs> 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 no, you can see Jessica Rabbit's pussy. Yeah, then uh, Damn, I gotta Aladdin, watch that. Aladdin, if you listen, I real always close wanted to smash apart. on Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was, <laughs> she's hot, right, for cartoon. And then on Aladdin, if you listen, <laughs> if you listen real close, it says all good teenagers take off your clothes or some bullshit like that. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit is the hottest all of all so cartoon. Just call Jeff Epstein. Right, you know, everybody knows the she's she's done. 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 <laughs> She's <laughs> off for a cartoon. No, for hey, a top ten hottest, hottest cartoons. She's Virgin <laughs> Islands. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah. Sure, Next to yeah, Rogue. Back to that page. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rogue was hot. Okay, so, <laughs> Don't yeah, front. Rogue was she bad. Was, she was. Oh, now. Oh, now. I'm not weird. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, I'm not weird. Fuck you. I get it. Fuck you. And then the girl version, the the fucking Bugs Bunny, the girl from Looney Tunes when they when they're hooping against Jordan, the girl. The oh girl. my god! Get the fuck out! She's dude. three. <laughs> Did you just say you want to fuck a rabbit? What the We've been talking about <laughs> while y'all were talking. We're talking about the hottest cartoon. The hottest cartoon. And he said just rabbit, and I was like, she's bad. <laughs> What the fuck? But you don't hear us talking over here? Yeah, I kind of do. He was hoping it wasn't true. I was trying to double take. I I got another one for you. What? uh, (laughs) Since since we're on all this weird cartoon (laughs) bullshit. Oh, oh, dude, don't throw that P word in there. <laughs> I'll bleep it. It's, yeah. there. it's there. So this chick that was like fucking Epstein's, you know, right hand bitch. Yeah. You know, or what do they call them? Bottom bitches. You want to be mm-hmm. like hood or whatever. Yes. Maxwell. You know what I'm talking about. Right. All right. So. Oh, the main bitch they just caught. They just, okay. Yeah. What happened? The feds just got her. Yeah. So everybody's talking about how, you know, Takashi's a snitch of the year or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well. Well, we got a new one, bro. She's snitching. Maxwell talked. The oh, chick. Oh, shit. She no. Talked, she talked for seven hours straight. What? They typed what she said, and it turned into a 418 page statement. No. Yes. And those files. But they haven't gonna, released any of it. No, they're going to release them this week. Oh, so this my week, God. She's going to put people on blast. No, hardcore. this week. Ooh. With this week, the files. Been ordered by a judge to be unsealed and released to the Damn. public. Released to the public, dude. She's Damn, gonna put bro. out some names that are gonna be crazy. She did it already. Yeah. She did, it's already. Yeah, it's been done. Dude, we're talking about crazy. 
names. We're talking about political figures. Big like she's going to have to disappear. Big cats. The she's, big no, she's going to WITSEC for life. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. what she's just about to do, yeah. yeah. Because political polit- polit- politicians are the new mob. You ain't lying. They will kill you. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I believe it. So they, I definitely believe it. He, okay, everybody's like, oh fuck, Takashi, he's on fucking on witness protection. Oh, he, dude, everybody snitched on is in jail too. The people this bitch is snitching on, oh, nigga, yeah. they'll have you killed in there. Yeah. The connection connections yeah. but you know what when they they didn't take when they had john epstein locked up they didn't take that shit seriously he ended up getting killed they didn't want to fucking follow through the same shit with this bitch i bet you they watched her day and night yeah day and night they probably had somebody at her fucking cell all the time watching Sitting her. with her yes yeah. in the cell. we ain't losing this one she gonna yeah. tell us everything if she wants to be free Hell yeah. And she probably said some shit. So the fact that this news comes out, like Braze is saying, this whole shit, it's going to be amazing to read. Believe it or not, you know how we got all these distractions with all this coronavirus shit and the world, you know, turning to what it's turning into? This is your next distraction. So by the time you hear this on our new episode... Or maybe the day after, this shit's going to unfold, man. This is going to be the new news you hear. It's going to be big. It's going to be the biggest shit you've ever heard, ever. Man, I think it's true, bro. Big names. Because I think this was connected to a lot of shit. Because whenever, like Anthony Bourdain, when he died, they said that he was trying to put out a fucking uh, documentary on fucking pedophile rings and sex rings and all sex trafficking, but with big figures involved in it. And then he ends up dying. No shit. Yes. So everybody tried to say that it was like, yo, like they started speculating back then that he wanted to expose shit that big people were doing behind the scenes, like with pedophile shit, with sex yeah. trafficking, with, you know. <clears throat> and then the John Epstein thing happened and everybody knows, you know, the shit he's been involved in. And before he could speak to try to save his ass, he, he commits suicide. Yeah. Yeah, there's footage. Come on, I mean, dude. You can watch the Netflix special. And now they catch this bitch that was his right hand, you know, chick. Yeah. Like the fucking like her his sidekick yeah. in this shit. And Braze is saying she spent seven hours talking. She's gonna expose some people, bro. Yeah, that's 418 a lot, bro. page yeah. statement. Yeah. So it's gonna be crazy to read this shit, bro. That's the that's the only thing I could say. Yeah. Cause I've been following this little case for a little bit. And that's uh, crazy. This is a. I knew her. Them catching her was gonna be some crazy shit. I didn't know how much. I know she. I did read an article that she said that she was gonna give them footage, like video of people oh, yeah. fucking people. She, yeah, she's saying, video. Yeah, she's admitting that she has tapes, tapes on people, tapes, on people, sex tapes. We don't even know who she's talking about. But yeah. she said, I read that. <clears throat> I didn't read what Braze is saying that they're gonna release the seven hours of talking, but I did read that she's putting that she told the whoever has her locked up, I don't know who, that she has video footage on people. I was like, whoa! On a Netflix special, they show you Epstein getting questioned and you know the whole you know shakedown where they're asking him a bunch of questions. Yeah, and they go in, they go deep, and they they show you how it happened and how <clears throat> he brought in all these females. Yeah, you know, he was paying these females two hundred bucks to. Smash them one at a time, and if one wasn't down with it or didn't agree with the movement, he would recruit them to bring them more females. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I saw that too, yeah. man. Regardless, <clears throat> regardless, the fact that this story has gone this far, and it's like there's so many people connected. It's like, man, if dude, I'm telling you, this chick is the key to shutting down a lot of major Hollywood. I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna have... She's the key uh, to destroying... And not just Hollywood. Politicians. Yes. Important politicians. This is gonna play a role and a factor in the <clears> next <throat> election that's coming up right now. Yes. This is gonna... Yes. If you think they got some shit going, oh, they're about to open it up. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. This is about to be the... This is the deal breaker. Yeah. This is gonna shut shit down with this one. Yes. I agree. This is a bigger deal than people are giving it, uh, giving it light. Straight yeah. up, bro. Yeah. Straight up. We'll see how it plays out, but I think she's about to destroy some lives. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
So, so Eternal, you were talking about Mike. Well, even though we got caught up in all the John Epstein shit, but or Jeffrey Epstein, whatever the fuck the nigga name is. Okay, remember you were saying you threw in there that Mike Tyson was fighting a shark. Although it sounded like a joke, this is true, right? <laughs> yeah, August 9th, he going up against a great white shark. Okay, how? For, for how is shark this happening? Week. No, but how? Like he's gonna be in the cage. What are they I, doing? I mean, I didn't look into the details. Yeah. but I was really looking into the Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. fight. Yes, and a lot of people think that it's just bullshit going around, but I read today that it was true. But <clears throat> or Eternal, you said that he, he Mike Tyson might be trying to start another league or something like like older uh, that's fighters. What Braze was Braze said uh, it's just like a, a only legends league. He's just doing something for all the OGs. Yeah, all the fighters. <clears throat> so but how just, hard just, do you think they're going? How hard do you think? I wonder. Well, exhibition is only eight rounds. Yeah, but a lot could happen in one yeah. round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're talking about Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. I think Mike... Dude, I've been... I follow Mike Tyson on Instagram, and he looks amazing. Yeah. yeah he's, I think Mike Tyson whooped Roy Jones. I fuck with his podcast. I fuck with his sorry. podcast, too. I think Mike Tyson whoops Roy Jones Jr. If they fight, for real. Yeah? Yeah. I, I mean, do. I hate to sound ignorant here, but isn't Roy Jones Jr. a different weight ca- class? You're right. You are right. <laughs> you are right. Uh, so that's Mike what Tyson. I'm thinking. Like, how hard are they actually going to go against each other? Who knows, bro? I mean, they're both passionate, you know, but we know who who's a bigger caliber fighter. I hate yeah, to say it like Mike that. Tyson. I mean, I yeah, you know. Mike Tyson is top five legendary boxers. Yeah. I mean, Come on, bro. Like, I love Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson blew up boxing even more than it was already big at that time. You think that's like riding a bike, though? You think it's something you could just pick back up? Like, Have you oh, seen yeah. him training? No, he still he's, trains. He, I didn't know that. Well, no. that's what I'm saying. If you follow him on Instagram, the shit, the way he's like fucking training, he... he Dog, he looks like a 20-year-old man. Bro, right. He's about oh, to shit. fight a shark. A monster. <laughs> <laughs> he's, changing, he's changing the game. Yeah. Like, he's changing the game. Hey, I don't think... Say it, say it slowly. I don't think niggas he's understand. Going, yeah. He's fighting a shark. <laughs> Who the fuck want to fight a shark? <laughs> Nobody. Hey, and Michael Buffer is calling the action and says... Who? Damn. Michael Buffer. Who is Let's that? get ready to rumble. Oh, okay, okay. oh, he's gonna be on it. Yeah, he's gonna be announcing Sorry. it. There's no way him him not being on it wouldn't even like yeah. he, you can't do it, it without him. In. Look, Blaze. He was. He Watch was, this. He was the youngest fighter ever to win the heavyweight championship of the world. Look, youngest. That's Mike Tyson right now. Watch him. Fuck. Right now. Go. As old as he is right now, that's him right now. Bro, that's like straight thunder. Dude, he's yeah. still fast as hell. He's still... Hell yeah, bro. He looks good. He's bobbing and weaving, dude. Bro, Come he's on, faster man. and more focused than ever. He's in tune with everything, man. He's cold. Everything. I say Mike Tyson whoops whoops uh, Roy Jones if they fight. Eternal, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. But that's why I'm just wondering, like, how hard are they going to go? Like, He I'm looks on, like he's going they, hard. They said <laughs> there's, there's going to be a documentary that comes before the fight. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they said like a ten episode documentary and two oh, are gonna. Oh, drop like a follow week. them to the fight. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, that's cool. Kind of what they didn't you tell me? Yeah, they, you used to watch. Some yeah, shit I used like to that? watch them with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. were like, what are they called, dude? What were they called? Uh, the um, like thirty for thirty. Or no, it was 30. like no, it was like a behind. It was a name. It was a name. Yeah, it had something. HBO used to do them, but yeah. then they kind of switched to them. <laughs> Yeah. But those are always interesting. Like the kind of follow up to the match. Yeah, they follow them both training. Spiders. Follows them yeah. training and then <clears throat> ask them questions personally about yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. But if they do that with this, them, that's tight. Yeah. Mike Tyson is uh fifty four years old, two hundred and forty pounds, man. He got fifty wins, six losses. Forty four of them were knockouts. He's a Knock- knockout. Forty four knockouts. Forty four knockouts, bro. Bro. Bro, yeah, I used crazy. to love watching Tyson fight. I, I love I Tyson. A huge boxing fan, but when Tyson would fight, man, I'd be glued. Yeah, man. I remember when he bit Holyfield's ear. That was God insane. damn, bro. <laughs> I remember hey, too. Did animal. they do the pod together? Who? Him and Holyfield. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Well, Tyson is very peaceful now. Yeah, that's oh, why yeah. I'm tripping. If you listen like to that, him, he's crazy. very like at. Peace. At he's peace. Yeah. Weed now. <laughs> he's, yeah. Yeah. he's on a spiritual shit. Yeah, bro. I think but Mike I, Tyson I, is the most developed, most like gotten to a good place of any celebrity in history. Like his turnaround was is probably the best one I've ever seen in, in the history of entertainers. Yeah. Cause yeah, you gotta right. think about it. He was the richest person out there at one point and lost everything. Yep. He goes to jail. He fucking like all this fucked up shit happens to him. And then look at him. 
Yeah, he said he misses the game. He dude, misses boxing. When he when he was active in his boxing career, he reached a three hundred million net worth, but Forbes claimed it was six hundred eighty five million. Lost it all. Lost it all. Still Come on, bro. Dang. But bro, he still always stayed relevant, though, man. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's crazy. Hangover brought him back. Exactly. Yeah. Hangover yeah. brought his career back. And then yeah. he has a cartoon and everything. <clears throat> I love the Mike Tyson cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Right now, his, <laughs> net, his, his net worth is three million right now. Bro, he's got his own weed farm. Mike Tyson. Man. Yeah, he's got a weed farm coming. Straight. A strain of his own. Bro, I think Mike Tyson is the greatest comeback story. Yeah. And his podcast is amazing. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. <clears throat> amazing. Hell and so yeah. I, I know think Robert that Robert Downey Jr. <clears throat> did that Iron Man pretty good. That was a good ass <clears throat> comeback too. Yeah. Man, yeah. you're right. That's true. Nah, you're right. Yeah, Man, you Robert Downey too. Jr. went from like his career's over to <laughs> like one of the longest of like dog, think about it. <clears throat> out of all the Marvel movies that came out, not just Iron Man, uh, Spider Man, whatever, Avengers, whatever. Iron Man's been in like probably ninety percent of those movies. Yeah, you're so right. he's had work constant for like how long has the Marvel thing gone? Ten, Ten years? years? Ten years he's had work. Yeah. Dude. That's Robert crazy. Downey Jr. had a great comeback too. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. But him and Tyson are up there. Like they like they're up there. So in my opinion, they're both, you know, I don't know. They're both great comebacks. But I think Tyson wins all go, automatically. Go ahead and throw my check in there too, man. And I wanna see. Hey. <laughs> hey, and it's definitely something I wanna see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wanna watch real, it. For real though, dude. For sure. Uh Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo, yep. What about it? Yeah. Same kind of thing. What? Like just a come up. Come up. Yeah. Come yeah. Nothing. Oh. Yeah. Getting out of prison. Getting out of prison, yeah. becoming yeah. a Hollywood star. And, I mean, he owns different businesses now, too. Let me ask you something. What? Would you... Okay, listen to me. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this, but it's something I thought about earlier. Mm -hmm. What do you think... Do you think that you could date? Like, seriously date? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's not get it mixed up. What's could the you, word? Hypothetically? Yes, hypothetically. <laughs> do you think you could date a porn star? Ooh. I'm talking about your girlfriend, you know, like serious. So like I'm not talking about could you fuck a, a porn star. Who's going to say no? Married forever or <laughs> just talking a about date her. Like, that's her job, nigga. Like, you're like, yeah, hey, I'm going to go make shirts, babe. And she's like, well, I'm going to go fuck all day. <laughs> she gonna Brazen come. She gonna come, she gonna come back <laughs> smelling like a pissy dick. She takes a fucking uh, bath before she fucks. Dirty, me. dirty I flesh. She's gonna be like, oh, I just got home from work. Let's mash. All salty, uh, uh, salty and sweaty. So how, you, much, how much money is she bringing home? Uh, <laughs> how's that, how she treats you after afterwards? <laughs> hey, so hey, so you could do it then. I mean, now that he mentioned that money. <laughs> I mean, no, money. Is well, the money. I mean, you did say you did say hypothetically, and you said so because of the money you could. Nah, let me finish. <laughs> All right. Hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. then she's not my girl, girl. She's just a yeah. girlfriend, uh -huh. like a you know, a thing. Okay. What about it? So I'm gonna play that role, and I'm gonna bring that money home, man. I'm gonna lie so you're me. gonna go ahead and let and just be a cool with. She had a dick in her mouth gonna, earlier. I'm not going to kiss her, bro. And what? <laughs> she's your girlfriend, <laughs> right? Under those terms. No, she's your girlfriend, dude. Nah, nah fuck, fuck that. that. Yeah, Should come I on. be a porn star, too? Fuck it. Hey, <laughs> she's your girlfriend, dude. Then you, there's no way she could be your girlfriend if you're not cool like that. Damn, that's true, though. If y'all were both know. fucking, y'all could just both keep fucking different people. But that's not part of and the question. What? And you just come home and you don't even have to fuck each other. So, Bray, <laughs> like, so technically checks. you couldn't do it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to say I can't do it, bro. That's that's a that's a hard one. All like right. That. What about you, Eternal? You could do it? Because they really technically don't make that much money. You think bro, they don't? I mean, they make some bread. Bro, why would but they like, do real what they bread? do? They, they make don't make bread, bread. I don't believe that. I think they make bread. I do too. You got your you got your rare ones like Mia Khalifa's that get like super hot and they're like they have their year or two, but she's the average right. porn star don't yeah. like really. She's all right. She's Once not my favorite. Go, why is there, like, why is there like so many of them? Like me. off of it. She's a dingbat. Why is there so many of them? Porn stars and doing the things that they do if they don't get paid because good. it's easy money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I you can't open my legs. and I yeah. heard they make about a, a stack, a rack or two for a fuck session. I mean, come on now. Yeah. That's a rack or two, And though. that session... If they fuck three times in that day, that's, that's six G's. That session is played Pretty for good. life. It's and then saying. they just got two racks for it. Okay, but they, they say they do that three times a day. 
That's six racks a day. I mean, you that's got a, a lot of money. You got a point right there. I the think I made way. a rack a day when I was selling drugs and selling CDs. Exactly. It's just so it's fast money, <laughs> big fast money. It sucks so. because it's never, it's not gonna last forever. Yeah, it's gotta be a shitty. I don't know. I, I would think it would take a toll. On so a could you be with a retired porn star? Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, why is that worse, bro? Her that's head way game is worse. immaculate. No, why is that worse? Why is a retired porn star worse? Tell us. All right, you got your Italian sausage. Yes. You got your Oscar <laughs> Mayer wieners. Oh yeah. And then what's that fucking X brand that you find at Fiesta? What? I don't even Eckridge? know. Eckridge. Eckridge. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to throw it in a well, bro. Come on now. Okay. Oh, come on. Hey, if she's retired. Just let her fucking marinate for a couple years. It'll it'll four back. Obviously, Braves, Braves can't. No, Braves can't do it. Period. Yeah, Eternal, you I said can't what? Do it. There's variables. Blaze? <laughs> no, no, you couldn't? Uh-uh. I could do it. Okay. I would. Like, I don't even think there'd be I an opportunity be, to get mad and jealous. Just, it'd just be weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can't even get I'm mad and jealous yeah. and fight. It'd just be fucking like, weird. Bro. You can't. Imagine. Like, I don't want to be imagine, here. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> hey, imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> think about, think about this. this. I'm thinking about the scents, okay. bro. The way it's going <laughs> to smell, bro. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Look, think about. <laughs> I sure didn't know. The way it's going to smell. Yeah, like, that's the first thing coming to my mind. No, no, no. situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, the scent. Okay, okay. Fucking, okay. ugh. Like, hey. This is their job, bro. Ugh. I'm sure they like got Like, she comes tricks. sits next to you on the couch, and <laughs> she wearing them fucking stinky shorts or stinky pants. Oh, no. And you can just smell it through the fucking she's clothes. Gonna take a, she's not going to wear the same fucking clothes, dude. Oh, she went to go take a piss, and then you got to take a leak, and you smell oh, her, right. and oh. she's not there no more. Ugh. What are you talking about? So what's the yeah. difference between... Yeah, right. No, man. What's the difference between a porn star and a girl that has sex every day? That's a good point. I what mean, it's mean? gonna smell the same. Break it down. Break it down. What do you mean a girl has sex every day? Because a porn star has no, sex but every porn day. No, like, <laughs> yeah, that's your job. Porn stars get some, dude. They get loads everywhere and fucking loads. <laughs> oh, they shit, take it to right. the face. Think loads. Yeah, come on, now. Not loads. Uh, not loads. Big loads. Loads. <laughs> I'm sure she takes showers, big loads. Take baths and berries and shit. Vinegar. Apple <laughs> cider vinegar. Look, dude. I'm trying to try to sugar. Coded, bro. <laughs> hey, you know elaborate, what? elaborate. I could do it. I could do it. You could do it. I could uh, do it. If you pay like you wait and you can stay, baby. <laughs> hey, but, no, no. But think about this scenario: your girl is a porn star for a living, and then you find her cheating on you on the side. Oh, <laughs> Vince, don't you get fucked enough? <laughs> Imagine, imagine fighting over her fucking another dude, and you're like, that's why she does it every day, nigga. Well, like, yeah. it makes no sense. That's so, yeah. Right? That's a, that's a yeah. nymphomaniac. Because, no, because you gotta yeah. keep in mind, look, dude, keep in mind, a lot of these porn stars are married to porn stars. Yeah. So it's like, they. They understand. I, what I mean, yeah, if they started a relationship like, on to some them, it's shit a job. Like yeah. Like actors, fucking actors. They understand each other. Yeah. So it's like, dude. I don't know. I, I could do it. I think Actors I could really be fucking. All like, the time. They, they yeah. smash on set? No, but I'm saying they build relationships I mean, after that. relationships are Yeah, they start there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I say I could do it. I could. I can date a porn star. I'd yeah. be fine with that. Yeah. Mm. I could do you it. You sound pretty comfortable, man. Well, I'm, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like the whole world can see your chick like that. That's what... It always trips me out about, like... Uh, What's his name? Adam from No Jumper? Yeah. Yeah. How him and his wife are just like out there. It's crazy. Like, that's cool if that's what y'all do. But damn, I couldn't imagine myself. Yeah, but she don't fuck anybody but him. I know. A guy wise. But she fucks with a lot of lesbians. Dude, and all the chicks that and all the chicks that she brings, she lets him fuck them. I know. That's it's awesome. That is crazy. His, his relationship is the best relationship ever. No, I heard him explain it. I heard him explain it. It's crazy. But the fact that she doesn't want other dudes is like, yo, I respect it. <laughs> like, it's cool, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, he has it great. This he Adam. He does. Why would he he's ever fuck up this relationship? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a fuck. Dude, come on. He looks pretty happy on his podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, does. Too, he, he is happy. Hey, he's doing things, man. Yeah, he's doing his yeah. fucking I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, Shout hey. out to Adam22, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah. mad respect, man. I might yeah. just order me a hoodie tonight. Or something, <laughs> a no jumper? No jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, bro. 
Yeah, he does pretty, pretty, pretty tight interviews. Hell yeah! All right, dude. So check it out, dude. I have a fucking guy code question for you now. All right. The guy code question of the week. Guy code. The guy code. The guy code. <laughs> so check it out, dude. If listen to this now. I always feel like I'm gonna get in trouble on this question. Right. <laughs> We're all no, no, no. no, I don't think it is. Right, Check it out. Go, let's it's go. more so us. So listen. Okay. Okay. If your bro and his longtime girlfriend split up, but I'm talking about it's one of those like the breakup that almost killed a nigga type breakup, like the real one. Yeah. Not a fucking whore, not some slut you yeah. fucking with. Like a breakup of your like main squeeze not type. Like the nigga was crying over this shit mm-hmm. type of shit. Yeah. Right? Okay, so I think it, they call those wives. No, no, no. But just like a major <laughs> girlfriend, it could be anything. Like a long-term anything. Yeah. Okay, so let's say him and that girl split up, and you go out one day, and you see her out, but with another dude. Do you tell the bro about it? You saw what he went through already with the girl. It was that bad. It was deep as fuck. Do you tell him? And then you go out normal. You just go out and chill with your homies or something, and y'all go hit up a club, a bar, a, a, a restaurant. I don't know, anything, bro, and y'all just out there drinking, chilling, and you see her, dude, but she's with another fucking dude now. All hugged up. Like, like you could tell they're together. It's not they're just hanging. Like, you can see, like, it's very evident that they are fucking, like, they're together somehow, right? Yeah. Do you tell the dude? Yeah. You tell him? Yeah. You tell him? Yeah. That simple. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Eternal? You tell him? If if my homeboy is crushed over this bitch and I see her somewhere else, I'm going to be messy and I'm going to tell him and be like, man, fuck that bitch. You, you need to get you somebody new. You know what I'm saying? Like, like don't be sitting here crying about her. Like, you need to go out and find you yeah. something new. Yeah. Like, don't exactly. be sitting around That's crying over do. her. Man, I, you know what? Coming into this, I wasn't thinking about it like that, but Eternal's right. Like, I would, sometimes you have to use the thing that, like, it hurts them the most to get yep. them over it. Exactly. Like proof, evident proof makes you think like you have to move on now. Yeah. yeah. She has. Yeah. Because I remember my dad. My dad told me one time when I was going through a big breakup. My dad told me this, and I think it was probably the best advice I ever heard. My dad said, "Everything horrible you can imagine her doing, imagine it, because <laughs> yeah. she's doing it." Exactly. Now what the fuck are you gonna do with that information? Yeah. And I was just like, whoa. And he's yeah. basically saying is like, don't sit around and wonder. I wonder what she's doing. I wonder, nigga, she's doing. Yeah. All yeah. of it. She's not going to yeah. do it. Yeah. She's doing it already she's right She's not, now. oh, what if she's fucking doing all that nasty shit she would do with me? Oh, my God. Wondering. No, she is. <laughs> oh yeah. my, God. my dad was like saying like, <laughs> buck up, nigga. And she did it. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do it. now? Come on, move on. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and for me, like, I, I promise you, I never did deal with a breakup ever since then the same. Because yeah. I was like, he's right. And you gotta look at it the way uh, Blaze said it. What? These bitches will hit the field like LeBron James and fucking. Oh, 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 They'll be at the playoffs in two days, my nigga. Damn, they ain't wasting no time. They've been locked down for motherfucking if years. If your bitch answers every DM that she that she has in her thing when y'all break oh. up, it's a wrap, son. It's a wrap. Yeah, for Yo, this it ain't yours no more. Yeah. She belongs to the streets. She's gone. <laughs> she yeah. belongs to the streets yeah, now. You, my bro. friend. Hey, that's how like you got her by the ledge, like some old fucking ledge, like some fucking temple of doom shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just yeah. gone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to a pit of sausages. <laughs> All of a sudden, sausages coming in for you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? And, and look, initially, <laughs> <laughs> so initially, <Duck>. I, <laughs> so initially, I was thinking in my head, like I'm not like straight up in my head. I was thinking when I first thought about this, I was thinking in my head, like you know what? I wouldn't tell my homeboy because I don't want him to still feel that shit. Like I'd rather it, it's not his business what she's doing. They're not even together, so I, maybe I won't say shit. But now hearing what y'all are saying, it's like sometimes you need the fucking like something that's going to like a sore, hit him with a sore spot to make him get over it faster. Tough love, yeah. man. Exactly. Tough love. Yes. Tough love. There you go. Yes. Because in my go. head, I was like, I don't want to bring that shit up. He's already been dealing with that. And then it's not his business anyway. Fuck, she's single. But now I heard what y'all said and I changed, I changed my mind hearing what y'all had to say. Because you're right. It might take that to make him just really Snap move on. Yeah, because if he doesn't hear that, he's liable to go back. Oh shit! And even, that's even whoa. worse. What if yeah. it goes back to? Oh, her? and you never said anything. Yeah. Damn. And then he's all fucking happy and shit, and then you gotta break it to him. Like, damn. I saw no, you but did. how do you even tell him that you saw it with somebody else? What would you do? How would you tell him? 
should tell him. I mean, you got to tell him. You can't just ignore that. Yeah. Like the first, like, bro. Why? Like, why are you getting back with her? I just fucking saw her at the club. Or, or, or better yet, if y'all hanging out drinking some beers, and he starts going on like, "Man, dude, I ain't in the front, dude. I, I really been missing so and so." And you right there, you gotta be like, "Look, bro, I'm gonna tell you some shit." Right there. Yeah. As soon as you hear him kind of coming forward with, like, he's already going to tell you some stupid ass story. Oh, we used to go to Astro World. You know? <laughs> whatever the fuck this nigga got to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you need yeah. to stop him right there. Yo, 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 stop right there, bro. Yeah. This bitch is trash. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you why. Exactly. I'm seeing her at the Latin Mike Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Taking 20, nigga. <laughs> I let the Latin the Mike. Mike. wasn't the only thing getting passed. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two for 10, man. Two for 10. <laughs> So yeah, nah, dude, y'all swayed my mind. Like, yeah, she, you need to tell, you need to tell her, tell him, because yeah, dude, it's the tough love will get you over some shit, dude. Sometimes you need to hear the worst of the shit so you can just get yeah. feel yeah. better about fucking life. Period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, listen, totally bro. Agree. Listen, this spirals me off into a whole another question, and and but check this out, dude. And it's just something that I thought about this week, right? So. <clears throat> All right, I don't want to, without trying to get into too many details, something happened with me that like I was gonna um I was gonna work with somebody and they were very attractive yeah. on one of my projects that I'm trying to do, which I won't disclose any information because I'm still working the kinks out to this project. But with this project, I was gonna get a, a beautiful co host, uh, I'll say. Right? Okay. Just say female. A beautiful female co-host. <laughs> yes. Well, the as soon as I tell, I'm sitting there telling my girl about it. I'm sitting there telling my girl about it. And all of a sudden, it's like, it's a bad vibe. It's all this shit. And it's kind of like, she kind of makes me, makes it, she kind of made, made me kind of feel like, well, and I don't want to put it just on her, but it just like kind of made me realize right there and then it's like, why do, it made the question that came up from her, the way she was acting made me think, why do women assume that every girl you become friends with or every girl you do business with wants to sleep with you? Why do girls think that way? Right? Because they know women. Huh? Because they know women. Ooh, Bro. That's a good answer. No. Hey, well, shit. Just, just like, <laughs> that is a good it's answer. It's just like we're a guy and we fucking know guys because we're a motherfucking guy. Yeah, you know but, what like, I'm but I'm thinking in my head, like, this girl, I'm 38 years old. Look at this girl. This girl? I'm thinking that. Yeah. That girl would never. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm thinking that. Like they that girl. I don't see it like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is it that your female always thinks that you're doper than you are? And female yeah, females' eyes. Yeah, go, go, ahead. go ahead. And females' eyes, they picture like us, you know, have the word was hypothetically or whatever. Yeah. It don't matter. Girls picture us pulling up to the gas station, bro, and, like, if a female sees us and they automatically dig us and we're, like, getting blowed in a fucking restroom at the gas station. Like as soon think, as we meet. They think that we're that fucking, yeah. like, on some camera on shit. You know, I'm like, yo, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, they, think, they think we're pumping gas. They think we're pumping gas and we just go like that. Wait, and they, wait, they, wait, they, wait, they, wait. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And we got the digits. Yo, it, it doesn't no, happen like, like that, bro. Like, they climb up in your car like, where are you going next? Yeah. <laughs> With no, yeah, shit like that. Hey. You know what I'm hey, but, hey. But it's your girl, bro, so she hey. thinks you're attractive. Hey, right? no, yeah, that's hey. a good point. Hey, no, who fucking ha in here has a fucking cool-ass homegirl or somebody's, let's call some girl and let's let a girl tell us what they why they oh, think that way. God, no. But it has to be a friend. No. Somebody that we trust. That Who you, has bro, a girl that way in their life? Right there. Not me. Nope. I ain't got no friends. Y'all niggas is mad. I could pussy. call my girl. <laughs> <laughs> call your girl. No, call your girl. Do you need to give her a heads up text or are you going to just call? Because I don't nah, want her to say nothing call. crazy. All right, because I want to know. Damn, you brave, dude. He's brave. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Put it on speaker or what? You're going to have to. Are you sure you don't want to fucking talk to her first? Nope. Cause you said it. <laughs> boys and G's going all the Let's way. Let's see, babe. Hi. Uh, you're live on the podcast right now. We have a question for you. <laughs> oh fuck. Go, Krim. What's the question? The question is, I was look. Listen, I was telling these niggas, uh, why is it that your chick 
It doesn't matter. Any girl you meet, whether it's a friend you meet or it's a girl you're about to do some business with or whatever, if she's attractive or whatever, why does a girl always assume, your girl always assume that you could fuck that chick just because she wants to do business with you? Like we just so easily <laughs> manipulated. They, they confuse you. They manipulate you. <laughs> they throw these words at you. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. You're different. You're different. <laughs> nah, hey, that's, that's a good point. No, baby. hey, it does make sense. They use your, they use your, your chick's weaknesses against her. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Damn, man, evil motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still think though that it's possible that a girl can you can be working with a girl or whatever and it be nothing. Yeah, definitely. It's just I mean, business. Last, I, I think you said something about guys and girls can't be friends. Didn't you say something like that? Damn. That's true. Did I say that? I do say that. God damn it, that's evil. <laughs> Okay, okay, but but we're no, but we're talking about working together, not being friends, but working together. Yeah, like, change the dynamic. Like, yeah, like a work relationship. Yeah, that's just business, business. Is yeah, business. like I'm gonna be the chick in the video, or I'm gonna be a a, a girl on your podcast, or I'm gonna be the, a girl in your video, or whatever the fuck, like something like that. Chemistry. You're right. Yeah. Before you know it, y'all just hanging out for 30 minutes doing some shit. And then all of a sudden you're like, something about this bitch is kind of sexy now. Right? Yeah, you can say <laughs> she's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just fucked I would never up, say that. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. <laughs> never. <laughs> this is the He-Man Woman's Haters Club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let her go. All right, baby, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, hey, she hey whether she's right or not, we're never yeah. going to give it to her. No. So she's wrong. She's wrong. She's wrong. You said he man's uh, a woman in the haters club. <laughs> <laughs> no gals <in> allowed. <laughs> But you know what though? Regardless, dude, it's just hey, maybe your chick just knows how dope you are, dude, and she's like, "Yo, she knows yeah, what that's you're what I'm She's attracted to you, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. she knows she knows the good qualities of you. But do you think always if a girl's like, you know what, I'll, I'll work with you, whatever? You think that she has to have a hint of something, like even if it's not like to the point where she's gonna go out her way nah, to? No, I think nah. girls are more like nah, but dudes are the ones. That are like, yeah. like <laughs> yeah, they get the long nails like, <laughs> right? Like a like plot nest nigga, like <laughs> like the guy from The Simpsons, the old man. <laughs> old plot nigga, you get that old plot nigga nose, like. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, right? Men do <laughs> men start plotting like this. Yeah. Like uh, we're shooting a video Friday, yeah. <laughs> like an evil villain. <laughs> evil Empire. <laughs> Once I get her alone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Terrible, man. Terrible, bro. That's a good expensive <laughs> video right there. Piece of shit. Oh, 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 oh. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze going red, friend. Stop. Blaze going red. Blaze going red. Somebody, somebody, somebody give Krim an edible, man. Blaze, stop. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Blaze took a shroom off the shirt. <laughs> Just funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think we had a pretty good fucking show. Uh-huh. 
for me yes, personally, sir, yes, sir. especially the hip hop talk. I love that hip hop talk. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and you know, and all in all, I think it was good. And you know, uh, everybody out there listening, shit, man, uh, appreciate y'all riding with us, listening to us. Uh, make sure you uh, check us out on YouTube with the live videos now at Crim's Crib. Go to Crim's Crib, search Crim's Crib, it'll pop up. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe and hit you the know, like button. There you go. We'll be adding uh, videos up there of the actual podcast live. You probably see this, and you know, you know, uh, we'll keep trying quarantine to come up with conversations. Some stuff. Yeah, check out the quarantine conversations. I do them on my IG. On Wednesdays, Saturdays, and sometimes Friday if I have to fill in one, but mainly Friday, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 p.m. So check that out and, you know, keep fucking with us and we'll keep doing what we do. So with that being said, Brace, we're going to get out of here. Let's do this. Good show, man. Pleasure. All right. Eternal, we're getting out of here. All right. Much love, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. God bless everybody out there and keep on listening. And Blaze, it's time for us to go.